Good morning, everyone. Selamat pagi. Uh, Mr. Abbas, can you? Ah, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, today, I would like to explain, uh, not, not explain, just sharing about the uh, experience uh, based on perspective of AUN QA uh, based on experience as a uh, assessor of uh, ASEAN University Network and on uh, especially in micro credential and actually uh, this agenda was not in the rundown before but during the internal meeting yesterday we've just uh, got a task to uh, give a presentation to share uh, this uh, material and hopefully uh, this could help for this project especially Manuela uh, to recognize or, or to identify the situation in the uh, Asian region okay uh, next sorry I, I just use uh, beyond the AI so just use uh, just say next and the slide uh, change. <laughs> okay. AUN, uh, before this, uh, AUN was established in uh, 1995 as an as a, uh, university cooperation uh, network. And that consisting of uh, right now, maybe uh, more than 180 universities member. And um, ASEAN itself, uh, you know, uh, we know that more older, established in 1967, around that. So uh, in terms of uh, micro-credential, uh, AUN uh, defined this as the hot stuff. Yeah, hot stuff uh, all together with the issue of uh, digital transformation and also micro credential but however uh, for AUN right now there is no common definition or uh, a criteria platform uh, that define formally uh, by AUN uh, but we agree that AUN agree that this activity, uh, micro credential, especially, uh, not purely uh, new, since the activity itself uh, for the higher education, uh, they often arrange the training, the workshop, uh, something like that, and so this uh, activity not uh, uh, new, but. Also, AUN agree that uh, the micro credential is the way to go. And right now, uh, this issue uh, being discussed, but not an uh, informal way. So uh, there's uh, still a big gap for opportunity uh, uh, to be done in this area. But also uh, the report say uh, almost all Asian countries already have a regulation about this, about micro credential uh, and undertaking, already undertaking the micro credential. Uh, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, I know, and integrating in uh, their own uh, national qualification framework. But again, uh, Right now, uh, there's no uh, formal definition, formal platform uh, in this region, Asian region, uh, that in terms of micro credential. Next. Meanwhile, in 2022, uh, there was a meeting forum that uh, the initiative especially in particular uh, micro credential has been uh, started and i don't know is it too late or uh, to start 
this initiative but in this in that uh, forum the AUN highlight three main uh, issues for regional cooperation regional cooperation means uh, between university and university to uh, industry uh, university to third party like uh, uh, immigration or uh, labor uh, uh, or government and so on and also about the quality assurance uh, miss manuela uh, before uh, mentioned that quality assurance and also recognition so uh, however uh, again this uh, meeting also agree that uh, micro credential can be seen as a tool to enhance uh, its uh, inclusiveness, inclusiveness uh, also to reach education, in particular for uh, rural area in Asian, uh, there are many rural area that uh, sometimes the formal institution, higher education cannot uh, reach the area. So, uh, and also for personalized uh, learning and uh, to shape uh, future collaboration among uh, AUN member university and enhance the quality and relevance of uh, education in this region the AUN uh, try to uh, push uh, for the collaboration innovation and inclusivity so uh, Again, there are three uh, main issues that need to be handled. Regional cooperation, quality assurance, and uh, recognition. Next. So as a gateway to Asian uh, high, higher education in the region of uh, ASEAN, uh, Southeast uh, ASEAN, um the aun trying to collaboration not only inside the border national border but also beyond uh, the nationality and one of the most uh, critical issue that uh, defined or recognized during the forum is related to micro credential in their uh, recognition not only by the government, but also for higher education institution and employers. More important thing, uh, because without uh, recognition, they cannot be integrated well into the national, but also in the international learning ecosystem. And uh, also one of the most important uh, reason why uh, this issue has to be uh, thinking in this region because uh, we know that Asian economic community that is uh, to be uh, realized in 2025. What does that mean? Uh, it means in this economic community uh, starting from uh, 2025, there will be free flow of goods, free, for, uh, free flow of uh, services, also free flow of uh, labor. So investment, uh, labor, uh, and so on. Uh, the Asian region will become the uh, one market. So uh, this issue uh, becoming uh, more important in this uh, region. And I don't know, uh, do you agree that uh, in the past, uh, sometimes, uh, not mostly, I think uh, short-term courses, other small learning program uh, were not regulated well uh, in terms of quality assurance and were not part of national and international uh, learning ecosystem. So uh, with this, uh, with this uh, kind uh, in mind, Maybe we can try to, uh, the AUN trying to identify the potential benefit of the quality assurance, not only about the process itself, but also uh, before the process of uh, learning and after the learning process. So uh, the concept fits for uh, purpose, 
also need to be addressed, not only in the micro credential fit for purpose, maybe in macro credential uh, related to learning outcome or the competence that uh, the institution uh, promise for student. So also in um, the in this uh, micro credential area, also we need to think carefully about the quality assurance, how to assess uh, if the learning outcome uh, can be achieved. So um, right now, uh, AUN uh, QA uh, identified the in terms of purpose. There are two uh, uh, two classification uh, for someone who trying to uh, take the uh, micro credential. The first one for for who uh, trying to find a job, maybe fresh graduate, and uh, for job seeker, and then also the micro credential. Uh, there's opportunity for sustainable development uh, of community uh, and society. Again, uh, as I mentioned before, for the in the rural area, that can be reached by uh, formal. Uh, institutional higher education. So uh, it's clear that uh, this small learning unit that uh, to be part in higher education uh, provision, like a training, workshop, uh, and, uh, but the important uh, one is how we try to, uh, how can we integrate it, uh, this, uh, micro credential this uh, activity into uh, the learning ecosystem because uh, we must ensure that quality delivery and recognition and avoid uh, learning fragmentation. Next. So the other uh, issue about the credential, uh, the AUN also identified this uh, credential issue as one of the most important because uh, how we uh, choose the trusted provider, uh, how we uh, ensure that uh, they have the quality for the standard. Yeah? And also uh, after the student uh, finished their uh, uh, lesson, their program, also how they, uh, how uh, the company verified that uh, the certification or the badge or or uh, something that uh, proof that they already uh, pass pass the uh, program. So the uh, verification uh, system is uh, also important one. I will not uh, jump into more detail about this. Uh, maybe this can be a triggering a trigger for our discussion uh, later. And next, the last one. In 2022 also uh, as the part of initiative of AUN, uh, there was a report a project uh, between also uni uh, European uh, Union and Asian uh, that uh, their recommendation uh, there are uh, there were uh, four recommendation for uh, this issue uh, the first one how to pursue the alignment with the uh, global standard for mobility and uh, credentialing uh, credentialing yeah uh, because this project uh, more focus on uh, student mobility. So uh, they uh, think of the, about the issue about the credit uh, transfer and how uh, the student can use uh, what they got uh, when they back to their country. And also uh, how to how we implement uh, the, the technology roadmap for credential recognition. There also uh, an issue about uh, 
the digital recognition system because uh, right now uh, even even though uh, each country have their uh, system but it cannot be uh, talking each other system so it will be a uh, issue also in uh, uh, this asian region uh, in particular also uh, before 2025 or uh, in the economic uh, community uh, time and uh, the the other recommendation about the how inter institution uh, agreement can be uh, done for the short term because uh, we know sometimes uh, the agreement between the country is uh, more difficult uh, so the short term uh, solution is the inter institutional uh, agreement and uh, yeah uh, the fourth one uh, how we establish a credential recognition center of excellence because we know uh, sometimes uh, after the project end finish and uh, the program the system the application is uh, uh, abundant yeah next oh that's uh for my presentation i hope this uh, small contribution uh, can be helpful for this uh, for this project thank you